As somebody with unconventional political views, I sometimes get criticized by people who say, Steve, your political theory is naive. It's an interesting criticism because I do see naivete all over the political spectrum, especially from those who are on the traditional left-right spectrum. So let me tell you what I consider to be genuinely naive political beliefs that I'm still in the process of sloughing off myself. One, people care about the truth. This is, I think, a very naive idea. Politicians don't care about the truth. The general public doesn't care about the truth. Media doesn't care about the truth. Politics has a very weak connection with truth whatsoever. What people care about in politics is power and it's specifically group power. So if your guy is in office, the truth probably doesn't matter, especially if he's done some crappy things. If your guy is not in office and the opposite party is in office, well, by George, then the truth becomes superficially important because you can use it as a bludgeon to knock the other person down and try to get your own group member in power. So to the extent truth matters, it's only until you get in power and then truth doesn't matter. Similarly, another naive view that I used to hold up until fairly recently is that principles matter in politics and in political discussion. That when you listen to the Republican debates or the Democratic debates or the talking heads on TV, they always come back, come back to these lofty principles. principles. Then once you've been watching the political system for long enough, you realize, oh, that's kind of a farce. They only say those things because they sound good so that they can get elected. The people, you know, the, let's say the voting electorate only talks about principles for the most part because they think it makes them look better than the opposite party who is spineless and without principles. If you need any empirical evidence of this, just take, for example, the story of the last uh, 16 years from starting with George Bush. So George Bush got elected on this idea of having a, being a conservative, having a humble foreign policy. And very shortly into his first term, he started uh, some wars overseas. Conservatives went from supporting a humble foreign policy and not supporting nation building to, yeah, man, if you're a patriot, we got to be involved overseas and we got to be involved in the Middle East to try to uh, set up a democracy there. Very short period of time, we had people who were supposed to be small government turn into big government. At the same time, you also had a great number of people who were self-described lib liberals and Democrats be out in the streets marching against the Iraq war and against foreign intervention, said war is not the answer. I can't believe the savage that George Bush is. We got to stop this guy because he's immoral and killing people. Until Barack Obama gets elected and also engages in a bunch of overseas meddling namely invading Libya, bombing Yemen, getting involved in both sides of a war, civil war in Syria. Immediately, once the other, the opposition power takes office, everybody goes mum. Somehow those anti-war protests disappear and we don't care about the plight of the innocent civilians who are being killed by drone strikes in places in the Middle East because our guy's in power. And then enter this current political election with Mr. Donald J. Trump, who by any actual analysis of his ideas is anything but a conservative. The man's something like a centrist Democrat. And yet now conservatives, supposed conservatives, are supporting the man's executive orders, the idea that he's going to rule by fiat, which they were upset about Barack Obama doing. This is uh, what Donald Trump is doing, and yet they're not putting up a fight because truth doesn't matter, principles don't matter. What matters is power. Now this is, I think, a much more mature way of viewing politics. And you take this lens, you apply it historically, it's even got explanatory power then. It doesn't really matter what era you're talking about. It's only a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of any group of people that actually care about consistent application of principles, even when your person's in power, and who care about the truth. Take another humorous example, this Russia phobia from people on the left with Donald Trump. Only a few years ago when Mitt Romney was running for president, he was lambasted by the establishment and by leftists for suggesting that Russia was a threat to the United States. They were mer mercilessly mocking him, of course, because he was running for the presidency. Fast forward a few years later, and now we're in McCarthyism again, where 
if you support Donald Trump in any way, you of course are being employed by the Russians and Russia hacked the elections and there's these, this coup that's happening and everybody's uh, got Russia fever. Came out of totally out of left field, however people have jumped on it because it's not about truth, not about principle, ain't about consistency, that's for sure. It's about power and whatever you can, if you disagree with Donald Trump, whatever you can sink your teeth into, you sink your teeth into and criticize the man. I even see this with my own libertarian community, that for a while there was a lot of people who were big on the Constitution. They were you know, Ron Paul supporters. Ron Paul seems to be the only exception to what I'm talking about, of people not caring about truth or principle. The man actually did, but he's the one exception to the gang of 435, as he's known. But I see this in, from libertarians who now that Trump is in power, they view him as being able to smash the establishment, even if he does so by trampling over individual rights. And suddenly libertarians who used to be anti-government, anti-establishment, anti-central power are now saying, well, if the ends justify the means, maybe we can, we can smash our opposition party a little bit and not criticize him so much. So I think, that the truly naive are those who, who have hope and trust in the political system, that take these politicians and the media at their word, that when these debates are going on and politicians are just quacking about empty platitudes that make no difference in the world that they're not going act to on, act on, it's a sham. It's a, it's, a, it's a charade. It's the suckers who believe them. Suckers who actually think that they're telling the truth and going to enact some lofty idealistic policy. I don't think that's the existing system of government. I think it's far more corrupt and hopeless than that. I think that the more skepticism and cynicism you have towards government, the more mature your political philosophy likely is.